Well, Canada's pursuit of becoming a hub for electric vehicle manufacturing took a big step forward with the presentation of the country's first full-scale electric vehicle plant. They aren't building passenger cars, but an EV expert says it's a step in the right direction. Normally, raucous applause at vehicle reveals are reserved for sports cars, but this ovation was for an electric light delivery truck. This is the Bright Drop Zevo 600, an all-electric delivery truck that'll be made at the GM Cami plant in Ingersoll, Ontario, Canada's only full-scale EV plant. Canada's EV future is no longer something that's on the horizon. It's here and it's now. Courier DHL has already signed on to buy a fleet. Meanwhile, General Motors president says these trucks will eliminate about 22 million tons of greenhouse gas emissions. The plant aims to produce 50,000 of these light trucks by 2025 a year. The federal and provincial government paid a combined $518 million towards GM's project that also brings back production at its Oshawa plant. Chemical engineering professor from the University of Waterloo, Michael Fowler, says the vans, while not passenger vehicles, are a step in the right direction. The bright drop vehicle, that looks a really good start with the GM because that's one that will start off and it'll be clean and people will see that and it'll be very visible. It'll be very clean. It will clean up their urban areas and the health impacts will be uh, cleaned up there. And that will be, uh, people will see that and then hopefully they'll also be buy, uh, buying their vehicles what are electric vehicles coming from that. However, when it comes to buying an EV, Ontario offers no price incentives. Early in his first term, Premier Ford scrapped those incentives, which climbed to as much as $14,000 off a new EV. When asked if he regrets the decision, Ford says creating jobs would have more of an impact. And when you create the environment and the conditions for companies to come here and thrive and prosper and grow, guess what? So do the great people here that are working here day in and day out in every single auto plant around Ontario and battery manufacturer. That's what we believe in. We believe in investing into the people, investing into technology, and investing into companies like General Motors. And here's a perfect example how that pays off. As for the market, the Prime Minister was asked how Canada could keep pace with the U.S. President Biden vowing to build as many as 300,000 EVs per year with companies such as Audi, Mercedes-Benz, and Hyundai announcing plans to set up EV factories in the states. Trudeau says Canada remains a desirable place to work. I'm sure we're competitive. There's lots of reasons Canada's competitive, uh, whether it's uh, our health care and our educated workforce, whether it's our resources, uh, you know, so many advantages that Canada has. But we also know uh, that we do need to be making investments and uh, drawing in countries. Canada continues to engage in dealings with auto manufacturers like BMW, Mercedes and Toyota to have them build their electric vehicles here.